two weeks ago, I buried raw meat as an experiment. I've read some books here and there, watched videos, asked some old timers how to do things. I'm trying this, this, I tried this as basic and as simple as possible. Get some meat, dig a hole, put the meat in a plastic bag and bury it. Not ideal temperatures. Uh, the, I think the ground soil was 44 to 48, not ideal. Want to see what happened. Can we preserve meat if it's not, you know, below 40 degrees in the earth? Keep watching, find out. I think you'll be pleased with the results. The motivation to do this now had to do with Hurricane Helene and a class we have every year on how to process large game deer. I wanted to add something new this year, which was how to preserve meat primitively. Students received an introduction lesson on how to preserve meat 100% primitively by smoking it and making jerky in the wild and also preserving meat in the earth. So what you're seeing here are the students from class coming to see how the results come in. Assuming you've seen the prequel to this, the whole preparation and digging holes, you may be inquiring, did the pine saw candle work? Yes. I had a game camera on the pine saw candle the entire time. All I got were two blurry videos or two blurry pictures of a squirrel running right by the candle and my cat running right by. My theory is they got close, had a nice strong whiff and took off because they just did not like the smell. So did, so did it work? Absolutely. On the inside, oh, I would say that's a fail. Does that look healthy to you guys? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. okay. Without salt. Without salt. With salt. That smells really good. Yeah, you stayed on that one a long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that smells really good. How could you be sure that's good? Smell. Just the smell. Always, always trust the smell. The nose knows. I think, I think our brain's out. Yeah, right? Don't do it. What's the verdict in y'all's opinion? How's it smell? Yeah, yeah. My nose is all at my edges. Right yeah, I'm probably not the guy to tell that, but it didn't smell bad to me. <laughs> what I've been doing to test if it needs to uh, rinse more, just give this little lick, as weird as it is. It's still a little salty, but it's been in here for about 36 hours. We're going to go ahead and cook up some of this and give it a taste test and see how my body responds. I'm going to choose this thicker portion. So here's the shoulder blade itself. Here, so you know kind of where I'm coming from, I'm going to take out some of this meat. This is what I'll use for breakfast to find out if this is safe. So just trim a little more off. We're going to cut this. I'm going to cut this into some slivers. This is cutting a lot different. Yeah, this is cutting it's a lot tougher. Maybe because it's cold, but man, I don't know. That's that's kind of really hard to cut through. And I just sharpened this knife before I turned the camera on. So here's what we're looking at. Looks, oh, well, looks nice to me. Gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here. Let the pan heat. With steak, you go ahead and sear all sides. So hopefully to lock in some moisture and some uh, flavor. If it smells bad, it's bad. If it smells good, it's probably good. So this smells fine. And if it tastes fine, I'm going to eat all this up and report back uh, if there's any sort of gastrointestinal issues, which I don't believe there will be. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Taste test. Got a little sliver. It smells like venison. It smells good. A little chewy. A little salty. Very salty. Really salty. Well, my report to you is 100% per taste and smell, very edible. Tastes good, 
minus being too salty. Tastes good, feels good. Man, approved for sure. Something I know about myself. By this time, if there was something wrong with this, my gut would already be acting funny. Well, I've always been that way. I had a sensitive stomach, so I know within seconds, usually, if something's gonna, you know, make me feel gassy or bloated or give me, you know, give me diarrhea, I'm not getting any of that. So I'm gonna add some eggs to this, hopefully dilute some of that salt and call it good. But tip, the best thing to do is actually soak this in running water. So what I should have done is put this in the stream so all the salt doesn't just like come out of the meat and set in the water and get reabsorbed with running circulating water. That's the you know, running and draining. I would have gotten a lot more salt out. So I'll try that next time. But in the meantime, I'm gonna throw some eggs on here and have myself a great breakfast. I say thumbs up, works just great. salt with no salt. Good blend. Recommended.